we are going to see about decision tree induction um, as we know decision tree is a flow chart uh, like tree structure so in this you will be having a root node and you will be having some internal nodes branches leaf nodes and so on so when we go on with the internal nodes it is also called as non leaf nodes these nodes it mainly uh, uh, performs some test on the attributes and then uh, you have some branches these branches it represents the outcome of the test and then you have the leaf nodes called as the terminal nodes it holds the class label so the topmost node of the decision tree is the root node so why we call these decision trees that popular is that uh, the construction of the decision tree classifiers it does not require any domain knowledge or parameter settings and next one it can handle high dimensional data and uh, the learning and uh, classification step in case of the decision tree are simple and fast and then uh, these classifiers uh, will give very good accuracy because of all these things we are going for the decision tree induction and one more thing in this case when we construct the decision tree we need to find out the root node so the, this root node can be found out by using some of the attribute subset selection measures like information gain gini uh, gini index and gain ratio so in this uh, particular video i am just going to talk about uh, how to find out the root node by using the information gain okay so we are just going to see an example now so here if you see uh, this is the table which we are going to consider right now so okay so here you have uh, some of the attributes like age income credit uh, rating student and so on and the final column which you called as the class label okay here class label bys computer has uh, two distinct values that is s and no i'm just going to find out how many s are there and how many no are there so when i find out i have 9s and 5 nos the first step is i need to find out info of d so this info of d deals with the class label values so that is minus 9 is the number of s's which i have divided by 14 is the number of transactions that is there in this particular table so 9 by 14 log 2 9 by 14 minus 5 by 14 5 is the number of uh, nos you have divided by 14 log 2 5 by 14 okay you have to uh, do these calculations so for example if you are going to use uh, uh, casio 991 ms you can't directly find out log base 2 value so for uh, finding it out what you have to do is like uh, you have to find out uh, log of 9 divided by 14 divided by log 2 when you do like that only you can find out the value okay so uh, when we uh, do all these things and when we add it you uh, uh, info of d is nothing but it is 0.9402 so that is your info of d info of d deals with your class label okay and i'm uh, moving on with the first attribute that is the age attribute in this i am seeing how many categories are there in this you have three categories that is youth middle age and senior so i am just writing it down youth middle age and senior uh, who is youth and who buys computer is 2 and who is not buying computer is 3 and who is middle age and buys computer is 4 who is not buying computer is 0 and who is senior buys computer 3 and who is not buying computer is 2 okay just substitute the values here if you see this is 5 is nothing but add these two values so it is 5 divided by the total number of transaction that is 14 into minus 2 2 is nothing but the number of s divided by the total number of uh, um, transactions you have in youth okay that is 5 log 2 2 by 5 minus 3 is the number of nos 3 divided by 5 log 2 3 by 5 plus the same way here if you add these two it is 4 divided by 14 into minus 4 divided by 4 log 2 4 by 4 minus 0 by 4 log 2 0 by 4 plus here if you see it is 5 divided by 14 into minus 3 by 5 log 2 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 log 2 2 by 5 when you calculate it it will be 0.69 Four, okay. So once it is done, the the value which you have is the info age of D. But you want gain of age. If you want to find out gain of age, it is info D minus info 
age of D. In for D value you know that is 0 0.940 minus in for age of D you know just put it and subtract it. It will be 0 0.246. So the first attribute is over. Okay and then I am moving on with my second attribute. When you go and move on with the second attribute, in this second attribute also you have three categories that is high, medium and low. Okay, just in the same way you just categorize and write it. So here if you see, high who buys computer is 2 and who is not buying computer is 2 and then medium who buys computer 3 who is not buying is 2. Low who buys computer 3 who is not buying is 1. Just in the same way you substitute the values and then you can get info income of D. Okay. So once you get info income of D you have to find out gain of income. So gain of income how we will find out it is info of D minus info income of D. You know info of D value and you have info income D value just substitute it is 0 0.0. Two, nine. So my second attribute is over. I am moving on with my third attribute that is student. So in this you have two categories that is no and yes. Okay. So I am just uh, taking those values. So uh, who is a student and who buys computer is 6. And who is a student and not buying computer is 1. Who is not a student and buys computer is 3. Who is not a student and not buying a computer is 4. Okay, just substitute those values. You will get info student of D. Now you have info student of D. You have to find out gain of student. Gain of student, how you will find out? Info of D minus info student of D. So you know the info of D value and you have info student D value. Just substitute it and subtract it. It will be 0 0.154. So my third attribute is over. I am moving on with my fourth attribute and the last attribute that is the credit rating. So in this you have two categories that is fair and excellent. I am just going to take those values and substitute those values now. So here if you see. So uh, who is having credit rating fair and buys computer is 6. And who is having credit rating fair and not buying is 2. And who is having credit rating excellent and buys computer 3. And who is not having uh, 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 who is not buying computer is 3 so just substitute the values you will uh, you will get info credit rating of d that value will be getting so once you get that your main aim is to find out gain of credit rating so you know the formula to how to find out the gain of credit rating you have the value of info d and info credit rating of d just substitute and subtract it is 0 0.050 okay now you know gain of age Gain of income, gain of student as well as gain of credit rating. You have uh, gain of all the attributes. Now you, you are going to compare all the four values and you are going to find out which one is having the largest value. When you compare here, which one is having the largest value? Gain of age is having the largest value. So the value which is larger, the attribute which is having the largest value can be considered as the root node. Okay, so in this case your root node will be the age. Okay, for the decision tree construction, now we have found out the root node by using information gain formula. So now in this particular example, your root node is age. Okay, this is how you need to find the root node by using the information gain attribute selection measure. Thank you.